and the hockey high on silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Cotto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Lone Silver, the truly for El Silver. Yeah. <laughs> I'll add to it before tomorrow. 
But believe me, when I'm finished, nobody will be in doubt that Alec Kilman's the king of the rustlers. Trails in a narrow valley buried between heavily wooded slopes. There, the cattle. 
two were placed inside the makeshift rope and pole corrals, which dotted the ground. Red Horton, after his men had dismounted and removed the saddles from their horses, met with them near one of the three rude huts, which had been built next to the animal enclosure. Oh, there's a big boss with the great ones for setting up alibi. What's Rocky to have one? I got a ride and meet Rocky like we planned to tell him that everything's all right at this end. How long will you be gone, Red? Not too long. I'll be back before noon. City boy. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens next after I get back. Get up there. Come on. Talking about Bill Faxon. 
Saxon's been in this territory a long time. He's an honest man and he knows it. Uh-huh. We helped him a long time ago. His ranch is less than a quarter of a mile from here. The cattle those rustlers stole last night must be his. I'm going to Saxon's ranch and face this crook, Rocky. Meanwhile, you go back and keep an eye on Tillman's captors. Uh-huh. Let me go back now. The old ranger, leaping his horse where it was tied, hurried through the woods, then sprinted across the deserted ranch grounds toward the side door of the house. At that moment, the door opened and Bill Saxon stood in the entrance. All right, you, you're covered. Stand right where you... Hey, am I seeing things? You're the lone ranger. Yes, Mr. Saxon, let me come inside, please. Sure, sure, come right in. Mr. Faxon, do you know a man named Rocky? Sure, Rocky McLean, my foreman. He's out on the range with the outfit now. He's not on the range, Mr. Faxon, and I'm afraid your outfit's in bad shape. Well, listen to me. Briefly, the Lone Ranger told all that he and Tonto had seen and heard since early morning. When he finished, the rancher's eyes were dull with disbelief. Oh, I can't believe it. The whole thing's too crazy. I'll prove to you it's true. But before Rocky gets here, we must get word of the sheriff. Is there anyone around who can ride to town at once? Sure, sure. My cook, Lee Chin. Lee will ride to town. Look, look out that rear window, Mr. Thompson. Coming from the woods back there. Say, it's rocky, sure enough. You can see. His shirts and ribbons, as I told you it would be. Yeah. I'm sorry to say you're probably calling this whole thing right. I'll play it through like you suggested. Lee Chin. Lee Chin, come here, Prado. <laughs> was on his way to the stable when Rocky McLean staggered into the house by way of the rear door and dramatically collapsed on the floor. When he opened his eyes, Bill Saxon was standing above him silently. Rocky waited for some reaction, received none, and then began to perform. Oh, oh I get away from him. Put the rest to me, they'll kill me. Who, Rocky? The rest of it. Alec Kilman gang. Boss, they killed all our men except me. I fought it out with him till my ammunition was gone. Rocky, stand up on your feet like you're able to and stop making up stories about Alec Tillman. Uh, what are you talking about? Rocky, if what I heard is true, then you're the filthiest, orneriest polecat that ever saw the light of day. Don't you talk to me like that. Uh, see, you've forgotten your act already. Rocky, we're going back up into the woods where you and Red and your boss have Alec tied up. Why, you? Get those hands up, Paxton. Now, before I kill you, tell you how you know just what you said. I was told by that masked man who came out of the room behind you. What? Drop the gun, Rocky. Oh, my wrist! You shouldn't have drawn your gun. Now, pick up his gun. There goes Lee Chin for the shot. The sheriff. Yes, you vermin. We'll bandage the wrist, Rocky. While that's being done, you listen to me. You're going to do as I tell you. Jason Phillips standing behind the gags and trucked up Alec Tillman heard the approaching footsteps in the brush. He turned to Red Horton. Yeah, this must be Rocky. Have your gun ready anyway? Yeah. Hey, Rocky, is that you? Yeah, boss. It's me. Did you tell that story about Tillman? Yeah. I told Fashion. Yeah, good. Let's get these ropes off Tillman. Let's shoot him and take him over to the ranch. Rocky, you told Faction that Tillman was after you, didn't you? No, I didn't let him get that far. Faction, Jason Phillips. So you're the murdering rapper who killed him. Kill him. I'm shot. As the Lone Ranger stepped from the underbrush, Jason Phillips bent, grabbed Alec oh, Tilden beneath the arms, and lifted him as a shield. Yes, yeah, shoot him, he just killed him. Some way 
wagon too long to pick them up later. Then let's get on to the rustler's hideout. They're expecting Red Horton to return. We will surprise them. Right. Come on, let's go. The rustlers were caught unprepared in their valley hideout. Oh, hello. Get them up. Oh. Once more, led by the Lone Ranger, converged on the outlaws. And their guns flashing in ceaseless fire. This program has come to you from Detroit. This is ABC Radio Network.